partnership with the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism has launched the Carbon Market Project in a bid to promote carbon markets in Namibia and enhance the implementation towards the national determined contributions toward the net zero emissions and climate resilient development. I am now joined by the Minister of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, his Honorable Pohamba Shifera, to give us more details on the latest development. Good evening, Minister, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me here. All right. First things first, you know, there has been an increase recorded in the volume of carbon credits transactions. How can carbon markets support climate change mitigation efforts? Uh, first, um, carbon market, um, um, you see, we are talking about, uh, it's a kind of incentives to organizations, to private sector, and also local authorities. Because when you talk about uh, our nationally determined contribution, that is our measurement, how to measure our reduction of carbon emission, uh, it is a nationally determined contribution as to what contribution Namibia make in terms of reducing the greenhouse gas emission. Mm -hmm. Now, we, you have to give in incentives to organizations to ensure that uh, those who want to at least reduce uh, carbon emission, what measures they have to take. And also, especially when, for instance, uh, when an institution um, is engaged in uh, solar energy, for instance, uh, as a power or wind energy, uh, it, it's an incentive. That institution, especially small organizations, they can easily access finance Okay. from local financial institutions okay. instead of um, um, coming up with a project and uh, give to the large institutions, financial institutions. Uh, we, we feel that that will work, work well, especially with our small and medium enterprises who want to engage in uh, especially generation of um, power mm -hmm. through clean energy. Okay. Now I understand that Namibia's emission is extremely below than what a develop wh what developing nations are emitting. Why is carbon market why is the carbon market project significant to the Namibian environment? Yeah, uh, it is important because as a nation uh, we are not stagnant when it comes to our aspiration. We aspire to become an industrialized nation and uh, we have to set a standard and that standard we have to have a minimum standard uh, where we have to ensure that uh, our measurements are kept so that every institution in the country plays to that. If we say our re reduction, for instance, when you take up our current uh, uh, nationally determined contribution that was updated last year, uh, we have to reduce um, the carbon emission by 2030 by uh, eight nine percent mm -hmm. uh, that means we have to get towards um, clean energy because uh, the emission we get more in this country carbon emission is uh, from generation of power mm -hmm. for instance we have these coal fired power stations like the one near here yes you could see the emission there mm -hmm. it is not uh, desirable so what we need to do is to ensure that we we we, we have to be on the pair of our Paris Agreement, that's an agreement, that's a treaty. Yes. It's an international treaty Namibia has, um, is a party to, and uh, we have ratified it. That means it has become part of our legal instrument as per our co Article 144 of our Constitution. So it's our law, and that means it has to bite all of us. We are bothered by that uh, law international law mm -hmm. that means all persons including uh, natural or juristic persons we're all included we have to abide by that so all these measurements we are taking is to make sure that we got we, we gear towards mm -hmm. reducing the carbon emission and especially looking at uh, you know reducing because the idea of Paris agreement is to ensure that we reduce carbon um, emission mm -hmm. that means the to below two degrees Celsius, okay. you know, and that is uh, the pre-industrial levels. So, and the, the uh, preferably we, we are talking about 1.5. We keep it there 
So if we can get below two degrees Celsius, uh, the world will be safer. But if it continues to be like this, the world be unsafer for all of us. Okay. Now let's talk about the carbon project. Will it be implemented in Namibia? And if so, which parts of the country? Um, what we are doing now is, is a project that is just for a year project. Um, we are trying to lay a foundation, especially to come up with a framework mm -hmm. uh, within which uh, the carbon market um, will operate. So. Uh, it is something new, uh, in especially in uh, developing countries. Uh, developed countries have this, especially the EU has a very good uh, framework uh, and it has got uh, very good incentives to institutions who are engaged in a clean uh, production of uh, clean energy. Um, we, we are now trying to do that. In Africa, uh, we do not really have any where we, we can benchmark. Okay. Uh, but Namibia seems to be uh, one of the front line runner now, uh, one of the front runners that in this uh, uh, carbon uh, uh, market project. Okay. Now, what lifelong self-sustaining measures are put in place for this project, and how can we get to 2030 climate changes um, requirements? Yeah, um, our nationally determined contribution. Um, uh, determines that by 2030, because our, our, our time frame is 2030, and we gear towards that, that by that time, we will have um, reduced our uh, carbon emission by 92%. Okay. And, and that, that is our, it's very ambitious. Mm -hmm. uh, given that now we have um, discovered oil, because we want to look at uh, clean energy. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have also, luckily, we have also discovered uh, natural gas. And natural gas is, is, is part of uh, clean energy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, with that, it will be a mixture of what we are going to do. But we will gear more uh, towards uh, clean energy. Uh, but it, we are very determined that by 2030, we'll um, achieve our nationally determined contribution as a nation. So that means all of us, we have to play a role. Okay. Now, how can stakeholders in the private sectors participate in addressing climate change? Yeah, private sector, uh, uh, you know, like what I can do is um, they can contact us, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Tourism. We are the focal point of the three rural conventions, mm -hmm. including the United Nations Framework uh, uh, Convention on Climate Change. Um, and other conventions. So we can just be conducted or conduct our environmental investment fund or the UN agencies so in order for them to get involved. All right. Any final remarks on the carbon market project before we let you go, Minister? Yeah. Um, what I can um, um, inform the public is that the climate change is real. Uh, we have already felt the effect of this climate change, the impact are very severe to Namibia. And uh, some of countries uh, like Namibia, for instance, we have suffered so much uh, when it comes to drought and sometimes even flood. Mm. And some part of the world, they have suffered uh, much more flood and some other climate-related um, um, disasters. Therefore, all of us, we need to contribute to this. And uh, when you have projects like this, all of us need to contribute in order to achieve our measurement, what we have measured to achieve, the, our national determined contribution measures, uh, put those measures, and uh, we all have to see what contribution we can make in order to uh, reach that. All right, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Welcome. That was the